It's been about six months since the release of the Apple Vision Pro, and there's been a good amount of time for some really good apps to surface. So in this video, we're gonna go over our top five apps for the Apple Vision Pro, and stay tuned to the end for a bonus app we're really excited about for all you race fans out there. So let's get started with our first app. All right, our first app is an app that I'm super excited for and I've absolutely been loving right now, and that is Mirror Play. Now, it's an iPad app that's supported on the Apple Vision Pro and it allows you to remotely stream your PS4 or PS5 so you can play your favorite games anywhere. It's also been optimized to provide the best streaming experience with the lowest possible latency. And we can tell you from our experience, it's definitely been the best remote play app we've used. I've used the official PS Remote Play app on a number of devices and it's never been a great experience. Even with an ethernet connection on both devices, I had all kinds of latency issues, the connection kept dropping, it was basically impossible to play. I've recently been playing Ratchet and Clank Rifts Apart and I've been using the Mirror Play app to play on the Vision Pro and my experience has been really good. The game looks amazing on the Vision Pro and I didn't experience much latency and I haven't had a connection drop yet. Now there are some stutters here or there, especially when you're moving around quickly, but it was still more than playable. And you wanna make sure you have a good Wi-Fi connection. Wi-Fi 6 will give you the best experience and we recommend having your PS5 connected via Ethernet if possible. Now the PS5 only supports streaming up to 1080p, but the beautiful Sony Micro OLED displays on the Vision Pro yes. makes things look amazing. So and good. there's also support for third-party controllers and mobile data connections. We just connected our DualSense controller to the Apple Vision Pro and it worked great. And the best part about it is the app is free. The second app we've really been enjoying is ALVR. ALVR allows you to stream your VR content from your PC to your Apple Vision Pro wirelessly. It supports hand gestures and it also supports dual controllers uh, such as Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers so you can use those as like your touch controllers which you can connect to the Apple Vision Pro uh, via Bluetooth. Or if you have some of those Lighthouse base stations sitting around from the Valve Index, you can use those coupled with the Valve Index NOCA controllers. So you wanna use those and you can get more accurate tracking. And ALVR is also open source. It doesn't collect user data and it's constantly improving, which is nice. Just make sure that you have a strong Wi-Fi connection. You really need a strong Wi-Fi connection for this all to run smoothly. So ensure that you're connected to a five gigahertz 802.11 AC router within 20 feet of your play space with speeds greater than 300 megabits per second. Even better, having a dedicated Wi-Fi 6 router just for this. And make sure your PC is directly wired with ethernet as well. And to make sure things run even smoother, make sure airdrop and handoff are disabled during gameplay. Now this one does take some time and effort to set up, so if you aren't very technical, you might not want to bother, but if you are, it's a great way to get more bang for your buck after you drop all that money on the Apple Vision Pro. That's now there are a though. number of steps to get this thing up and running, and we aren't going to go through those in this video, but if you want a dedicated video on how to get everything set up, leave us a comment down below, and while you're at it, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button. And you're also going to need to play around with the ALVR settings to get the best performance based on your PC hardware. And all in all, we had a pretty good experience with it and we were able to play all our Steam VR games and they look great. We did experience some connection issues, so we are going to get a dedicated Wi-Fi 6 router. We also had some base stations and valve index controllers lying around, so we tried to get those set up. I think one of our base stations is bad and we had trouble getting the controllers to work, so even for us it was a struggle. But again, if you can get it going, you really get more value out of your Apple Vision Pro and games look great. Now, our third app is Supercut. Now, Supercut is the best way to watch Netflix and Amazon Prime on the Apple Vision Pro. You can also enter a URL for another service such as YouTube, which gives you the ability to experience your favorite streaming services into one seamless interface. For Netflix, you can watch the content that's 4K double vision. It also supports Dolby Atmos and multi-channel audio, and it's the only way to watch Netflix and spatial audio on the Vision Pro. So as you move your head around, the sound's gonna move, and that's awesome. It also fixes the letterbox issue that you experience with the Amazon Prime supported iPad app. So you won't get those black bars and you get everything in the right aspect ratio. And it has an intuitive UI. It offers playback controls, including subtitles, audio output, playback speed, and the ability to skip ahead or back a few seconds. You also have the ability to switch between profiles on the fly, and it gives you visual indicators telling you whether your video is outputting in one or both of the Dolby 
formats and what resolution you're streaming at. Now, Supercut is $4.99, but it's definitely worth it. We've been using it for a while now, and it's super convenient, easy to use, and the streaming quality is great. Now, the fourth app on our list is Juno for YouTube. Juno lets you watch your favorite YouTube videos in a gorgeous and powerful video player. And with the recent update, you can watch 360 degree and 180 degree content. Finally, we've all been waiting for that. We could do that on the MetaQuest and we wanted to do that on Apple Vision Pro. And with this update, you can now do that. I've been watching a lot of 360 degree content, some Formula One cockpit views, and it's just awesome. It features intuitive controls for video interaction, including the ability to resize the screen so you can have a really big screen, which is like a home theater experience in your living room watching those YouTube videos. And you can also reposition the video and dim your environment for an even more immersive viewing experience. And there's support for playback quality and speed. And again, Juno is also $4.99. Now the fifth app on our list is Moon VR Player. It's a premium all-in-one VR player. It supports UHD, 4K, 8K, and even 12K video playback if you have those files. <laughs> It supports pretty much any video format out there, which is great for us because we're always struggling to get some of our content to play on different yes. apps and some of our 3D content, but we're able to watch it with Moon VR Player without an issue. It has auto recognition, so it automatically detects the correct format and configures to play those files. It also supports spatial video formats and codecs, so you can play also 360 degree and 180 degree content video on here as well. And for that 3D content, it fixes ghosting and distortion. It uses autofocus to eliminate double vision and blur, and it automatically adjusts to your IPD, which is really cool. It supports SMB and DLNA, so you can access and play your files on your network remotely. It also has pass-through mode, so you can be aware of your surroundings while you're watching your content. Its interface is simple and easy to use, and it also has a ton of other features, but it's only $5, which is a really good value. And now it's time for that bonus app. Woo! The bonus app is called <laughs> Laps, and this is for all you race fans out there. Laps lets you watch Formula races on the Apple Vision Pro and brings an immersive F1 viewing experience. You can watch live races, qualifications, sprints, practice sessions, and you can also view past races, highlight replays, it has interactive 3D model right. racing maps, which allows you to track the race. In real time, you can see the cars and their position on the track as they're racing around. You can see every turn, every acceleration, every moment of action. And it also has like the multi-driver cams, so you can uh, watch that in the comfort of your own home. It has immersive 360 degree videos where you can get behind the wheel. Uh, in those uh, immersive 360 degree videos, it puts you right in the driver's seat. It's so awesome. It's currently in beta. And you can try it out by going to the Test Flight app on the Apple Vision Pro and then getting laps. To get all the features, you need to get a paid F1 TV subscription. But if you're a race fan and a Formula One fan, you probably already have that. <laughs> this is so awesome. It's one of those apps that like we've been waiting for, we you have. know, for sports. So if they have like this for racing, I can see this coming for things like MLB, NFL. We have All like, sports. yeah, you have the play field, <laughs> you know, and this is probably going to roll out to like different uh, racing series like IndyCar and NASCAR. Yeah. So whatever kind of motorsport you're into, this is definitely well, that like, might be the app for you. Yeah. A more immersive way to watch it. And it's so awesome. So that's it guys, that's our top five plus our lovely bonus app, the Laps app. So don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe and let us know down in the comments below which your favorite apps on the Apple Vision Pro and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.